What's going on, guys? I'm here with one of our clients, Ryan, who added 80K to his video business over just the past couple months, right? What's yeah. going on, Ryan? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Well, dude, I appreciate you joining us today. I guess for anyone who maybe doesn't know you or kind of your story, do you mind just giving us a little bit of background on you and kind of how you got started in this and how you're at the point you're at now? Yeah. So, you know, I started shooting a couple decades ago video on a Canon GL1 in on nice. mini DC. 400 lines. A lot of guys in the industry have been around for, you know, a few years, maybe up to 10 years, but uh, I was shooting in high school back then, nice. edited Final Cut Pro. And then, um, yeah, that was just kind of what I did. I did weddings for a little bit and then I transitioned into commercial, a lot of product work. And I, I was working in a printing company in pre-press in the art department at the time to kind of get me through college and everything else. And uh, that's when I started to, to develop a love for manufacturing. And that's where I've kind of carved out my niche with my production company is in the manufacturing side of the business. Very nice. Were you shooting on those? Uh, I, back when I was a a kid, I was shooting on those mini DV camcorders, like running around, like yep. those were fun. You'd pop those in, you'd try to get it over and then edit everything. And that well, was it's uh, wild. It, it's wild because we're trying to emulate the look of VHS and stuff now. I know like, It's like, we're going backwards now because we're like, we like it so much. I love, yeah. I love it, man. That's what I, came I guess from. like, what was kind of your biggest problem prior to joining the program? Like what kind of had you looking for a solution? You know, I, I felt like I didn't have a lot of structure in the business. It was me kind of reacting to things as they came up. I was I was out, you know, I was putting my name out there. I was I was doing sales and and a lot of my business was referral based, which was good and healthy. But there was a wall. I couldn't get past a certain revenue. I, I couldn't get to the point where I could say, OK, I, I'm going to bring an editor on board or or even to the point where I'd outsource um, to contracted employees. I, I just couldn't get to that next level. And, and I feel like it was part of partially because of a lack of structure in the business. I gotcha. And was there, this might be kind of a weird question, but like, was there any reason you kind of chose our program over maybe some of the others? Was there maybe no reason? What, like what kind of drew you, I guess, to master filmmaker in the first place? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I've, I'd actually done a few other programs um, before to sharpen skill. And I'd, I'd looked outside of the industry as well on, you know, sales resources and spent a lot of time on YouTube, just learning and absorbing. And it was honestly just the ads kept popping up in my feed on Instagram. And I was like, okay, well, what this seems interesting. Let's look into it. Um, I, I think there was a need there. And I think the ads spoke to that need effectively. And that's what got me hooked. I love it. And I know uh, everyone's like, Eric, you got to get off my feed, dude. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm everywhere. So yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you did. And obviously it panned out and it worked well for you. I guess, was there anything super particular about the program that was helpful or any, any part of it that was helpful more than others for you? Wow. Yeah. I would absolutely say there are a couple components for sure. Um, you know, the other programs that I've done in the past, it was kind of do it yourself. Here's the course on Kajabi or, or Teachable. And, you know, with, here's a Facebook group. And then they would moderate the Facebook group kind of. Yeah. Uh, whereas, whereas you guys were super hands-on. Like, and I knew that right from the beginning, uh, the onboarding process, even before I had made the first payment for the program, it was like, okay, these guys, they're more organized. They have structure in their business, something I was looking for. And uh, and that proved to be true on the back end after we signed up is like the 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 Slack channel, the community there, the activity, you know, hey, Ryan, is there anything we can do to help you? I mean, you reached out this week, that kind of thing. Um, and just having a place to go to ask questions about very tactical components to the strategy has been invaluable. And I feel like when I ask a question, I get a very specific answer and it works. And that that that's rare, I think. I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, we try to pride ourselves in always getting constant feedback from you guys to see how we can improve and make your experience more seamless. And I know the 80K that you've closed has been kind of from the inbound system we set up with you. How do you feel like that's kind of helped with uh, kind of smoothing out the deal process, I guess, and like speeding up some of that? Yeah. Well, I would say before Master Filmmakers, I, I wouldn't. So I, I would attribute the 80K directly to the system that we built mm -hmm. together. Um, First, I wasn't running ads. I didn't really believe in ads, even though, ironically, I was hooked on your program through an ad. Um, <laughs> you're like in the system right now. Yeah. I always say that to people. I'm like, it's you're in the system right now. Yeah. Oh. So I, 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 you know, we went through a couple of months where I had to develop some comfort level on that. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, what to say, how to present yourself, how do you present a package, all of that structure that I missed. And then pouring that into an ad format, that really started the engine. Uh, every one of the deals that we've got since starting up have been through that revenue generation system. 
I love it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's been a big, big deal for us. I love that. And I guess where this is kind of another weird question, but like, where do you feel like maybe you would have been if you hadn't taken action and kind of jumped in? Because obviously it's a scary step for some people. It's it's sure. investing in yourself. But I guess where do you feel like you would have been if you hadn't taken that action and made the leap? Yeah, you know, I think I, it would be more of the same, right? I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, one of the concerns that was on my mind is, you know, okay, how do we how do we deal with the 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 coming technology with AI and how do I stay relevant and all of these things? And I felt like if I didn't make a move to get to that next level on revenue, to scale and to uh, sign customers on in a way that was different, like a subscription model, yeah, um, I was going to probably become less relevant, have a harder time selling over the next five to 10 years and and get to the point where I'd be looking at maybe a different alternative for income. And that's, that was a little scary for me. And so yeah. that was kind of the reality that I was facing as I made the investment. And uh, right now I feel like I'm just at the tip of the iceberg, honestly. Oh yeah, you are. It's just the beginning. We're going to be doing another one of these case studies with you in a little bit, and it's going to be like 200, 300, 400, whatever it may be. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And I think you're so right. Cause it really does come down to like, cause I'm constantly investing in my own education too. Cause I preach that to you guys. Like I'm, I want to live that as well. And I think there's always a point, there's always someone who has a little bit more information. They have something else that's just come out that you can take and implement into your business and help you kind of get to that next level. And I think where some people fall short maybe is like, they think they know everything. Cause I don't know everything for sure, but it's like some people think they know everything and they kind of get into that loop where they're, they're stagnant, you know? And right. I think like, that's where having that mindset of always innovating, always trying to get a, ahead of the curve is, is so valuable. Um, well, you, you bring up that point and you know, one of the consequences of the whole thing, it, it is a mindset shift. It was for me at least. And one of the outcomes of that mindset shift is I'm reading more books than I have in the last five years. Like I'm, I'm averaging a book a month right now. Wow. Focus that's on crazy. Business, focus on sales. And so I feel like this was kind of a genesis of some transformation in other aspects of my life and my career. Yeah. And yeah, super helpful. I love it. Last question, Ryan, I'll let you get back to closing deals. If maybe there's anyone who's maybe on the fence about even just booking a call and speaking to us, like what advice would you give them? Yeah, I would say, don't be afraid. Like there's, a, there's effort you're going to have to put into it. There's work you're going to have to put into it. And they're very clear about that at the beginning. And I think there's no a magic bullet for success in, in your career. It doesn't matter what career it is. It doesn't matter what you're doing, but following correct principles, following structure that, that there's something behind you when you go out and make an offer in the world. That's, that's where I would say, don't be afraid of that. Cause that's, that's the magic here with the program. And I, I would say that that's been transformative for my business. And if you give that a shot, I think the principles will apply and the structure will apply to you equally. I appreciate your time, Ryan, and uh, can't wait to see you closing more deals and uh, to your continued success, man.